In this tutorial you see how to achieve the lock on target effect seen in Sekiro and many other games. In the previous video we created the technical part of the system and today we'll be creating the graphics. Hi, I am Mark and this is Game Dev Journey. Okay, so the first thing to do is basically to go in content and simply import our little icon. You can find it in the description and after that you can import it. Of course you can use one of yours, but of course you must delete the background, okay? So after that we can move to our blueprints and of course our BP enemy one that we have already created in the last episode. Okay, so if you remember we have created our target, so a sync component that we use for the position. Now we can add a widget component and okay something like this now we can use it to simply add a user interface okay to our bp enemy the space is not word is a screen what is because otherwise it's like a 3d object in the world but with the screen is only a 2d image okay and is don't create a problem with uh, maybe the mesh of the, our enemy okay it uh, can be good like this and now we want to create our user interface so now we must user interface and we must create a user widget blueprint okay i will call it w b underscore yes lock on dot okay so we have it and now we must create a canvas so basically our screen and simply add an image okay so basically our icon this image i will call it dot okay sim simply like that and for the size 16 size epsilon also 16 you must also change the alignment to 0.5 and 0.5 to simply move the origin point of the image also the anchor in the middle and yes it works like that okay so now in the image we must select our little icon yes and now we have it okay compile and save now we have already created our class but of course you must select the visibility and you can select hidden okay so in this way you don't see it uh, normally okay in the world we can return to our blueprint and simply change the widget class here, class and now compare and save perfect okay so now we are in the get closest enemy and we want to simply have that widget okay so we cast to bp enemy one with our locket target so search for bp enemy one yes and as bp enemy one we want to get our widget so basically get widget widget okay something like that and yes after this we want to cast okay to wb lock on dot and with that we simply promote to variable to have this reference okay the reference of our lock on dot okay so we have it in the variables and now in the event graph we can simply get our wb lock on dot and simply set visibility okay so basically if the lock on mode is off okay basically you want to the visibility is hidden otherwise it of course is visible okay Collegate the lock on dot to our target and compile and save. Okay, something like that. Now, if you press start, you must notice that everything worked in reality. But, of course, the point is a little bit down, okay? So, how to fix it? Basically, we move the target, okay? So, the, the parent of our widget, maybe a little bit up, okay? The widget is in the position compile and save and now we can test it okay so now if press tab yes it works okay so it's very easy but it's very powerful because in this way we have finished our lock on target system 
Okay, so guys, thanks for watching. And of course, if you have enjoyed these videos, please subscribe or like. If you have some problems, of course, you can comment below. And bye bye, guys. Till next time.